Welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while, but today I'm gonna go ahead and change the power steering cooler on the Duramax. It's been leaking for a while now. I've went through a lot of power steering fluid. I've had the part for about a month. I just been kind of busy, haven't had time to do it. So I'm gonna make some time today. So I don't know if you can see his lines right there leaking but they're rusty here's the new one looks like it goes all the way up to the power steering pump we kind of gotta check that out if it does it's not gonna be the funnest but it kind of needs done it's been leaking since i got the truck so we're gonna go ahead and get the hood popped and start removing the grill and see where it takes us so you can see the lines right there Things better than no light. See all the flood laying down on the bottom. The metal lines on the cooler are rusted and that's where it's leaking from. So we're gonna go ahead and get the grill removed. To do that, we gotta take this cover right here off. The radiator cover. And then looks like there's some bolts underneath it. Then remove this cover, you just take the clips out that's everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Then I'll tell you what the next step is. Got that cover removed. I ended up dropping one clip down there, so I have to get that when the grill's out. All right, it looks like there is four 10 millimeters on the top. Then, if I had to guess, yeah, there's clips right here. So you unbolt the top, then unclip the bottom. That's the clip for the grill. Um, they're not popping out like I thought they would. I was just pulling on it. So I'm gonna take a pair of needleless pliers and squeeze it and pull. So that was a piece of cake. <laughs> No, that was a pretty big pain, those clips. One goes there. There's, there's like five of them, I think. Six of them. I actually had to, some of them I could squeeze with Neilers pliers on the back and they released. And the other ones I had to use a pry bar to get down behind and help pry it. But I got them all, didn't break any, thankfully. So now you can see all the power steering fluids right here. I'm thinking it's leaking right behind this. Looks like you just take that 10 millimeter bolt out. Then there's one here. Then your lines go right up along your radiator and your intercooler. Oh, uh, these ones ain't hose clamped on. I was thinking about just keeping the old rubber hoses, but these ones are all crimped. So that means I'm going to have to take them off the power steering pump. One's right here. Then I imagine the other one's on bottom. Or it's actually on the pump. Sorry, that's the reservoir. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get this out. Hey. Easy way I find, I'll let you guys know.
ended up taking the inner fender well liner out, which is some of those clips, like for the radiator cover. There's a Phillips screw, some seven millimeter bolts, and a 10 millimeter bolt. And it looks like that hose right there with the hose clamp on it. I think that's one of the lines. And then the other one goes to the bottom of the reservoir, which you can't really see from down here, but it does make it easier to get to that other line from under here. put some power string fluid in there the hose clamps that come on the new one they're phillips they're not the squeeze springy kind so make sure you loosen those before you try to put them on <laughs> they're kind of a pain to get to down there then this one down here i think it'd be a lot easier if you remove your turbo piping right here you don't have to i did it without doing it i don't know if you can see my flashlight died but there's something shiny right there that's the hose clamp i just made sure i turned it so i can get a screwdriver in this way um but yeah if you take the turbo tube and the tire off that hose would be very easy to do but that turbo tube is not that fun to get in and out you might be able to just loosen up down here and Pick it up out of the way a little bit, I don't know. But it's possible without doing any of that. While the inner fender well's out and the grill's out, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this outside and power wash all this. Try to get all the power steering fluid off. This way I don't collect dirt and get all grimy looking and just try to keep it somewhat clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, the power steering fluid power steering fluid what you do is you fill it up i started up when i was about halfway full let it circulate a little bit shut it off top to back off and when i get pulled outside i'm gonna turn the wheels a bunch this way it gets any air out of the system that's called bleeding it
that wraps up this video. I think overall it's pretty easy. Um, I don't know if you guys know what you're doing. I'm gonna give it a two out of 10 on difficulty. If you have no idea what you're doing, I'm gonna say maybe a three out of 10. The hardest part is probably gonna be that turbo tubing. So if you have a gasoline truck, it's gonna be a piece of cake. But I think that's about everything. If you guys got any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment. I'll try to help you out best I can. I normally reply pretty quickly. Um, if you enjoy the video, give me a thumbs up if it helped any. And if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. You guys have a good one.